let's talk about muscles of facial expression. And so here we have a profile of someone's face. I don't know who it is. So here's muscles of facial expression. The reason why you can get such expressive looks on the face that you see in the skin is that if we then start panning through the skin, attached in the fat, so actually attaching within the subcutaneous fat of the face and going from muscle to skin or skin to muscle with a few attaching to bone, what happens is we start seeing that these muscles of facial expression are the ones that attach into the deep surface of the skin. So when the muscles contract, the skin moves to give such expressions, hence the name muscles of facial expression. Now we're going to cover not every muscle of facial expression, but these ones that are listed on the left using this uh, uh, black and white illustration, because these are ones that will help you understand clinically testing of the facial muscle. First is the frontalis muscle, receiving its name because it's uh, right along the frontal bone. And this muscle, when it contracts, wrinkles the forehead, as you see with some angry chefs, childhood actors, and some funny British comedians. Um, the next is the orbicularis oculi muscle. This is a sphincter muscle. It's circular, as you can see in the circular pattern of these muscles, part on the orbit and part on the eyelid. The function of this muscle is to close the eyes, as in one winking or keeping your eyes shut. And that's the orbicularis oculi muscle. Next we have is the nasalis muscle, receiving its name for its attachment uh, right along or uh, being located right along the nasal bone and its function is to flare the nostrils as in that movement. Uh, the zygomaticus muscles receives its name for the zygomaticus major and minor because they attach along that zygomatic bone and then insert on the corner of the mouth. And this is the smiling muscle because it draws the corner of the mouth up as in a smiling uh, movement. Next are buccinator muscle. The buccinator muscle helps to tense the cheeks. It's located right on the internal surface of, the, of your um, mouth. And it receives its name, the buccinator muscle, because it's the trumpeter muscle, where the word buca comes from. And you can see tensing the cheek is in playing a trumpet, or when a baby nurse is sucking the, the cheeks in, where it, as a for nursing, it also keeps the food underneath your teeth as this muscle contracts when you're chewing. And it's also expressive as in the, uh, oh, no, you didn't look, okay, that pouting look. Next is our orbicularis oris muscle. This is a circular muscle that surrounds the mouth, and its function is to close the mouth or to pucker the lips, as in going in for a kiss or whistling or chewing to keep food in your mouth so it doesn't fall out. The platysma muscle. This muscle is going to help tense the skin of the neck. And so tensing the skin of the neck is in uh, shaving, and this muscle is a very flat muscle we see here uh, deep to the skin that we see surrounding the neck. Um, and all these muscles of facial expression that you see here are derived from that second branchial arch, which when they migrate during embryonic development, form the most superficial layer of muscles that we have on the face. And thankful for uh, images courtesy of Mark Nielsen for the cadaver image and this black and white picture.